you want to start with the news now? Well, um, okay, man, you guys can't let this go until Saturday. I promise, right? I promise. I re-signed at the UFC. We came to terms. Um, Six-fight deal um, for everything I've wanted, and they gave in. I stood my ground, and it worked. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I, I could say I have a lot of integrity for myself and a lot of respect for myself, and I fought for what I believed in, and uh, the fans will get the best of Tito Ortiz. Uh, you know, and the biggest thing behind all that was uh, if I fought for Strike Force, who would I fight against? You know, there's... Uh, Kung Lee. Kung Lee's an 85-pounder. I'll squish him, um, you know. Uh, you know, me and Baba Lou would be a great match, but that's one match. Um, you know, Frank Shamrock's another good one, uh, but those are two matches, okay? I kick three people's asses, and who else do I fight? Competition is very, very important for me. Um, you know, I was one of the greatest light heavyweights that ever graced the octagon, and I want to continue to do that. Uh, UFC have the top ten guys that fight for their company, so that was a big thing, you know. I want to make sure my fans get the best of uh, my next, uh, you know, four to five years of competition that I'm going to be competing. So UFC was was uh, something that I kind of had to swallow my pride a little bit, and uh, Dana came to me and uh, apologized, and he says, you know, if you don't sign with us, it's fine, I just want to make sure that we're friends again, and when we can go on with our lives, because the negativity is eating me up, and I said, me too, I can't stand it, and uh, we shook hands, and we started talking, and then I guess he tired of talking to Lorenzo, and Lorenzo and Dana flew out to me on last week, and they sat me down, and they said, we'll give you an offer, you can't refuse. What you want is what you're gonna get. Really? You sure? Yeah. I go. I just want to be treated with respect by you guys, man. Respect me for the fighter I am, and, and don't uh, defame my image. And uh, they understood. And we came to terms last night at 11:30 p.m. I signed the contract, and uh, I will be competing again. My back's 100%. So all you light heavyweights, you better watch out. I'm back. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Started training uh, two weeks ago. My back's 100%, and uh, ah, I can't wait to get back in the cage and fight again. You know, UFC's my home, man. I didn't want to leave, you know, but I had to stand up for what I believe in, man. I had to stand up for myself. You know, I couldn't sell out, and then I, I had to stand my ground. It took a year and a half, but uh, you know, it, it, it paid off, and uh, my fans will be happy. And uh, you know, I think Dana's gonna let the news go uh, on Friday and um, everybody will know about it so this will be Saturday that you guys get to know but uh, you know, that's what it is in a, in a big bunch that I'm back man I'm home uh, I'm where I began and this is where I'm going to end and uh, I think the fans want me to fight the best people in the world and that's what I'm going to do so I'm excited what was at the root of the problem between you and Dana you know the, the root of the problem is we're both uh, uh fighters <laughs> or both we want we fight for what we believe in you know uh, he wants to make his business the most wealthiest business in the world and I want to make my brand the most wealthiest brand in the world and uh, we butt heads we butt heads and we butt heads and we butt heads and uh, I, I, I really stand for what I believe in I really stand up for myself I have a lot of integrity for myself and uh, I, I really took that to uh, um, to heart and I think Dana's the same way and I, I really think we just butt heads, you know, we're, we're really uh, uh, battle guys, we're the same person, the same monster, we're the same guy, exactly the same guy, and, and that's, we're not going to be taken advantage of, and uh, now that I'm re-signed, and uh, I'm on my comeback. So, I read your book, I read Chuck's book, and it kind of like, nobody ever really said anything, it's kind of like, Dana White's calling you a douchebag a year ago, and I'll never work with you again. And then I read Chuck's book, and I'm trying to figure out something. He's like, I was never really cool with this guy, which is not what you said in your book. You said he was cool. He just didn't talk that much. You tell me. A guy comes to my house in Huntington, sleeps on my couch, um, eats dinner with me and my wife. Uh, you know, um, I go to his house up in uh, San Luis Obispo. I shame with him. I go out with him. We party together. Uh, I think there's a friendship, there's a bond that's, that's built there. I thought that's what friends do. I think friends go spend the night at friends' houses. They go eat dinner with each other. Uh, they hang out. Uh, they defend each other. When I got in a fight in England, we, he defended me. Friends defend each other. And it, I think it was an image that 
Dana painted that wasn't true. They tried to sell the fight, and uh, a friendship was lost over money. And uh, it's too bad. I, I like Chuck. I like Chuck a lot, and uh, I was trying to stand up for both of us, and he just sold out. And um, look at him now. Um, I feel bad for him, but in the long run, uh, Chuck did good, great for the sport. He did a lot of big things. Uh, he did a lot of big things for his weight class. Uh, I couldn't defeat him. Um, I wish you'd come back so I'd get another chance. I would love that chance again. Uh, but, you know, stories like that are made because of big things like that. And that's what that's what made it. And, you know, I, I, I still think Chuck is a friend. I, I, I don't think he does. I still think he, him as a friend. Uh, you know, I went to his party. He had a UFC 100. And I, uh, I gave, you know, the, the respect of going by his party and saying what's up and hanging out for a little bit. And then I left. But uh, I, I, I think friends do things like that. Um, and he walked up, he, he said a few things to me, he said, thanks for coming, and so forth, and we talked, and you, you still see it in Chuck's eye that, you know, he, he feels bad for the things that we're done. But it's, 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 it's all behind us now, and from this point on, on, it's all positive reinforcement, positive energy, and positive uh, uh, stuff to succeed in my career. And uh, I'm only 34, so got a new back, and uh, I'm back. What was I going to say, the whole, um, the whole, um, who do you got to go through to get the belt? Who do I got to go through to get the belt? You know, uh, my first fight back, uh, I kind of interested of who they're gonna put me against. Uh, I heard names of Mark Coleman, um, Keith Jardine, um, who else? Uh, Brandon Vera. Um, you know, I I know uh, I have six fights so I mean I think I'll pick fights smartly and pick them as they come and whoever they give me is who I'm going to fight um, I guess it's up to the UFC to, to, to make the guys who I fight um, it's not no more where I get to pick guys to fight or you get a chance to pick any guys that get to fight so it's in UFC hands so whoever they want me to fight I'll fight it's just, it's just the way it is and uh, I get a chance for my world title again I'll have the world title on my waist you know I almost choked Machida's ass last time give me one more chance and I will choke him unconscious this time that or knock him out on the other. I mean, he doesn't hit hard enough. Yeah, he, he knocked Chuck out. He knocked uh, 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 Rashad out. But, you know, Rashad and Chuck aren't Tito Ortiz. So, it's a big difference. So, the deal's like you spelled out in the book. Like, you wanted points on everything that you're associated with that you na your name brought in. Do you think that after your fight against Chuck, I think it was 63, maintained the number one status after all the hype for UFC 100 was still their number one gate, that that was the final final what for Dana, that he had to come back to you after that? You know, I, I think it was just uh, the brand that they're uh, investing in, you know, the Tito Ortiz brand. I, I've done a lot of work outside of uh, just the fight game. You know, um, people call me a celebrity, people call me, you know, a fighter, or a businessman, but you know, I'm an average person. I just work very hard for what I do. I, I, I think outside the box, and um, I, I don't take breaks. It's I'm always working one way or another, and uh, they they understand what they're getting out of. You know, you're, you're going to get someone who promotes well, who uh, understands how to promote a fight and uh, interview great and promote the sport for what it really is. You know, I'm just not a fighter. I'm a promoter. I'm a you know I'm a businessman, and I'm a fighter. Um, that's what it comes down to. So this is part of the deal. You can roll in in your punishment gear and the banners and all that. And they're not going to say that that famous UFC. You got to pony up a hundred thousand dollars to be a part of the gang and all that. No, not at all. I'll, I'll be wearing punishment all my fights. That's I always done. Um, That's part of the deal. I, you know, um, they want to be in the Tito Ortiz business, and uh, I want to be in the UFC business. And I, I think we could both cherish each other and, and make things happen for the future, where you know we're, we're very successful together. Are they going to be giving you a million a fight? Um, we're going to be making a lot of money together. <laughs> it's about the big fights, man. It's about you know making the fans happy where they're going to get on pay-per-view, I think. I think that's what it's really about. I think it's uh, it's it's about the respect that they've shown to me, and uh, I'm very thankful for it, for sure. So part of the pay-per-view, anything like that? I'm very happy with my contract. So about as much as I can say, you know, I, I, I'm here, and you know, Dana says he wasn't going to be in the Tito Ortiz business, and I said I wasn't going to be in the UFC business. We came to a working term, and uh, I think respect was the hugest value that we both earned from it, and we both uh, are intrigued from it, and so that's why I'm back.